Welcome back to SOS. I'm Simi and this is my sister Siri. We're sisters of science. Today we're going to be learning about irreversible changes and reversible changes. For example, melting. Today we're going to melt chocolate to see what happens when we melt it and then freeze it again. I think it's a reversible change. Do you? Yes. Then we're going to do ice. I think that ice is also reversible because you can melt it and freeze it again. Do you agree? I agree. Then we're probably possibly going to try cooking raw eggs. I don't think that's a reversible change. I think it's irreversible. Yes. Let's get to it. First, we need the chocolate. Where are we going to get the chocolate from? Oh, it's a little snowman. Cool. Right. With this chocolate, we're going to mash them up in this bowl. Bye bye, snowman! Bye! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no! <laughs> I can't believe we broke the snowman! <laughs> oh. Okay, right, Siri. We're going to have the dog left. Ew! We're going to put this chocolate in this boiling water. Make sure you get an adult to do that for you. Here's the chocolate. In it goes. Now we have some ice and we're going to see if this melts. Ow. <laughs> okay. So guys, now the chocolate and the ice has melted. The only question is, can we change it back to its original state? Look, because we have green chocolate, it's gone green. And this is the ice. It's turned into water. Reversible changes. Burning is an example of an irreversible change. So, here we have bread. Oh, I love bread. Ooh. And we're going to put it in the toaster and then see if we can change toast into bread again. Drop. Let's do it. What one do I put it in? This one. Push down the bit at the side and wait. I don't like the pop now. Bread has been made into toast. It has burnt. I don't think this is going to go back into its original state. So, it's irreversible. <sighs> Ow! Now let's see another example of an irreversible change. Here, we have some malt vinegar and bicarbonate of soda. We're going to put it into this and it will make carbon dioxide gas. So, first let's pour in this. Whoa! Yeah. Fizz up! Yeah, That's awesome! It. Smell it! <laughs> How can they smell it? Little tip guys, great for cleaning lime scale off your kettle. We need to see what happened to the water and the chocolate. Let's take a look. Now we have the chocolate back and the ice. I've missed them so much. So, the chocolate has melted and also turned green. Ooh. So, because we had green chocolate. Also, this ice is completely frozen. It was water, but now. They're reversible! Ooh. So, on the count of three, we stab the chocolate. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's hard. This is what happens when you freeze this such yummy supply. Uh huh. She's eating the ice, she can't talk. So, that concludes our video for today. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a comment below if you loved, subscribe so you can see more videos, and like. See you next time for more fun science. Perks of experimenting.